How many of you think you're capable of coming up with a cutting edge, brilliant idea to improve the way you do things that no one's ever had before? Okay, three. <laughs> Please join with me in welcoming James O'Loughlin, celebrated innovator, media personality and presenter. G'day, I'm James O'Loughlin. Welcome to the new Inventors. I spent eight years working with over a thousand of the country's best innovators and inventors trying to answer one question, how? What James does is takes that experience and talks to organisations about how we can use innovation in our business, not by spending money in R&D, but actually changing the way we think. Anything that isn't perfect creates an opportunity for innovation. Is it possible there might be a better way of doing things? Are we just doing it this way because that's the way we do it, not because it's the best way. Question everything you do. It's pretty easy to make the case, innovation is important. What's harder is to say, and this is how you do it. Innovation isn't just about the goods and services you supply. It's about every aspect of your business. A Dutch bicycle company sold most of their bikes online and they shipped them all around the world. The problem they had was that a lot of the bicycles were being damaged in transit. What can we do that encourages people handling our packages to use more care? They didn't say there was a TV inside. All they did was put a picture of a TV on the side of the package and change the behaviour to such an extent that damage reduced by 75%. Question everything, challenge your assumptions, analyse your data, and think like a customer. This is the most important one. Interact with your department as a customer. You don't have to be a genius to do it. We often use that as an excuse. You know, I'm just not innovative. Is this familiar? I want to spend more time thinking about my business. I want to come up with new ideas. I just don't have time. There's two aspects of this, motivation and method. Take 10 minutes a day to work on tomorrow. Persistence will be rewarded. A great example of that is WD-40. You know why it's called that? They had 40 goes. And you'd think after WD-22, the guy's boss would have gone, come on, and WD-37, but they got there. Which makes me wonder a little bit about the Boeing 747, but uh, <laughs> particularly as I'm catching one later today. creating a culture that encourages and welcomes innovation from everyone, from the CEO to the receptionist. How do you do that? You get people to think, you value their ideas, and you use them. Make friends with failure. If you see failure as a necessary step in the innovation process, it takes the stigma out of it. The job of leaders, in my view, is to A, motivate people to see innovation as something they should be doing, and then B, create a system to allow it to happen. The adventure of ideas, the adventure of innovation, it's available to every single one of us, and I urge you all to have it.